What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie if you're new here. I am a PA student and I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, but I'm on clinical rotations this year. So I'm traveling all around in my little camper. So today I wanted to take you guys along for a Sunday reset camper edition. And I, it's like 12 something right now. Last night I was up kind of late watching football. We watched the Clemson Carolina game. So I just slept in this morning it's a really chill weekend this is the first chill weekend i've had probably in like two or three months so i was just really happy to sleep in this morning but it's time to get into it so i wanted to take you guys along with me on a sunday reset and just kind of getting my life back together after doing nothing for a few days so thanks for clicking on this video and let's get into it Okay, so I probably should get ready right now, but I think I'm going to go for a little hot girl walkie, so I'm just going to take a shower after that and finish the rest of my errands and stuff after I shower, but it is so cold here, so I don't really feel like, you know, doing all that, but I have to. Um, the thing about camping that's a little bit different is that, like, I have all my windows and doors closed and everything but these things are not as well insulated as like a house obviously. I don't have any heat on either so like I could add some heat with like a space heater or the furnace system but one thing is it's gonna get hot in here really fast because it's so small and then another is that I never use the heat and I'm a little bit scared too so I'm just gonna use a space heater if I'm gonna do anything but for now I'm just going to let it be cold in here, wear some sweatpants and then whenever I get in the shower I will have the heater on in the bathroom so um anyways I'm about to go get myself on to go for a walk my coat is Costco sweatshirt is Costco these are both very warm and comfortable so I'm just gonna wear these I love these things Costco is so underrated and their clothes are just so good I forgot to charge my airpods as usual so i'm just gonna listen to a podcast out loud while i'm walking so hopefully the neighbors don't care All right, so I'm back from my walk. I just did 30 minutes. I don't even know how far I went, but I just listened to a little podcast, which I'll insert probably here of what I listened to. And then um, now I'm going to go ahead and get in the shower because now I'm warm. So everything's fine now. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to put on some more comfy clothes like this that I have on, but I just need to kind of get cleaned up for the rest of the day. So. so I'm lazy and didn't take off my makeup yesterday. So... We're doing it today. And this is why I have acne. That's one thing in 2024 I would like to be a little bit better about is to make sure I have a good skincare routine and stick to it like every day. But I think the 12 step skincare routine with like all of these extensive products is like not really realistic. So I'm gonna have to make that my own I think and just like go with a shorter routine that I know that I can get done every day that works for my skin rather than just like trying to have this whole aesthetic thing because that's just honestly not very realistic to most people I did turn the heater on and now it's like burning my leg off so
a little Octo Buddy to put you guys right up on my mirror so you could actually kind of see what I'm doing. But oh, one thing at a time. some of these pimple patches just because I'm having more acne than I would like and I like these a lot. I love it that the girlies are just wearing pimple patches out like on a daily basis and just does don't care like what people have to say about it. It's kind of nice. All right, so I know I just said I was cold, but I'm going to put a sweatshirt on once I, like, go out and about. But right now, I just got dressed. I got this little top on from, um, oh, that looks kind of weird. I got this little top on from TJ Maxx or Marshalls or somewhere. It was, like, in a little two-pack or whatever. I'm going to have to fix that part before I leave here. But anyways, and then I've got these hot pink pants on from airy my favorite place in the world to shop so airy if you somehow in the world see this video and you want to like do something with me i would love to because i shout your name from the rooftops all the time so anyways um let me show you the state of things in here and what we're going to be working on okay so it is literally just like a major yikes everywhere right now so yeah i gotta get this place cleaned up and I'm going to watch some YouTube videos while I'm doing that. So I'm just going to do a little um, fast forward with some music or whatever. But yeah, let's get into it. this white linen comforter and I love it so much but it's literally like brown underneath it from my dog so if you guys have any ways to clean white linen to keep it from being brown for my dog let me know in the comments please I'm begging so here's my pretty bed made up I despise a bed in the corner but it's like what can you do when you're living in a camper and like that's all you've got um so when I get my house and then when I'm a real PA, I will not be doing this mess with the bed in the corner, but for now, this is gonna work. It's kind of cozy when you get over there, but it's so hard to tuck the sheets in. I just hate that part. Guys, you're literally on my stove top. It's like 1.45 in the afternoon and I have not had a single bite to eat today. So I'm gonna make some dino nuggets because I'm a child, but I am gonna meal prep later in the video and I'll show you guys what I make. But for now, I just need a little snack.
Well, dang, they say it's resealable, but dang, I mean, you can't get it unsealed to get the nuggets out. Operator error, probably. And obviously, this is not aesthetic, not healthy, nothing like that. But I just, I don't care right now. Like, I just dropped the dang nugget in my drawer. But, um, I'm, like I said, I'm just having a snack and not everyone's life is perfect and some of us are 25 and still eat dino nuggets okay so do what you gotta do about that but um there's also just like not a ton of room in a camper so it's like yeah there's stuff everywhere but at the same time like where else is it gonna go and when you're living in it that makes things a little bit harder I'm so glad I looked to see how long it takes to get somewhere. I'm going to get a wax in Myrtle Beach and it's 51 minutes and I was gonna be like, oh, let me leave at 2.30 to get there at three. Uh-uh, baby, it's two o'clock, we're in the car, let's go. Let's go get a wax. Also, I'm scared, it's only my second one and I know it's gonna hurt, but it's okay. So I just got my wax and it actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. The first one literally hurt so, so bad, but this one was a lot better and it lasted like six weeks. So I was like, turn up. And the girl, she goes, I said, I haven't been using that serum stuff that I got last time. And she goes, yeah, it shows. I'm like, oh, okay. So I'll be using the serum and I got the body wash too, because I mean, what are you supposed to do to exfoliate that? So anyways, um, that went better than I thought. And I got the membership thing last time, so I didn't really have to pay for anything but the tip and the little um, body wash stuff. So now we're going to Best Buy to make a return, hopefully, if they'll let me, since I did an online order. But, um, yeah, that's all. Well, that was easy. Done. Going back on my car. And it's raining and cold now, so I'm going back to my car. And I can't think of any other errands I need to do down here so I'm probably gonna head back home now it's so yucky and gross outside I hate it and all my little ducks are not sitting up right mm -hmm. so that's that was a horrible sound I'm so sorry but I'm gonna have to velcro those little girlies down I think but anyways back to North Carolina now I'm at Food Lion trying to get a couple of things I need to make the meal I'm going to make for dinner tonight. And I hope my hamburger meat's okay because I just put it in the fridge, but it's in like one of those round things, so I think it'll be okay. Alright, so I'm back home from Myrtle Beach and I'm kind of hungry again, so I might whip up some food if I can get my stove to work. I don't really know how to work this and last time we lit it, my mom had to like literally light it with a lighter. I've never had to do that ever in my life, so I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, it says used by 1129 and I think it's the 27th. So, turn up. That's good. Okay. Um, let's get into this little cooking segment here. See what I can whip up. I've made this meal a bunch of times before, and I really like it. Um, but I don't have to get my air fryer out and everything, so this will be interesting. <laughs>
if you haven't tried this yet you have to i get it every so often at the store because i don't think i want it all the time but it is so yummy and just a perfect little different flavor if you're a dr pepper girly like me so i am working on what's called an ace case report and so some of our rotations are called aces and it's adjunctive clinical experience that's kind of hard for me to say but basically it's like in a specialty that's not one of the core rotations of PA school so I have to go and like write up a case a report about an interesting patient that we had that was like somewhat unusual and I honestly like kind of got into it ha at the halfway point like we saw this patient once for pre-op and then since I've been here anyways, once for pre-op and then during the surgery and then two post-op appointments so far. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to do like the whole chief complaint subjective HPI stuff because I wasn't there for that. So I'm probably going to have to ask my doctor tomorrow or the MA or whatever to kind of go over that with me just because I don't really know what to put here. However, I don't think this assignment will be very difficult simply because I want to flesh out more of the treatment process because we did an ulnar nerve transposition on this person and it was awesome. It was so fun to watch and like really cool to see all of the anatomy there. So I'm just kind of working on that. Um, I ate my dinner, which is what I meal prepped. So I have two extra servings for that. And I still like have a lot to do in terms of like cleaning up, but I'm kind of getting tired. So I want to make sure I get this done as much as I can so that I can go in tomorrow and ask him kind of like, what's up? Like, what else do I need to do on this? And then go from there. And then I might go over to my neighbors to hang out for a little bit and then, um, just kind of do a little bit more but not a ton because it's about it's almost six o'clock now and it's pitch black dark outside like as you can see there's no covering on that window it's just black and there's no identifying information here but this is kind of an example of what it looks like so you do the hpi history rls all of that stuff um you know just kind of going through and discussing what we're gonna do with the patient which is where I kind of want to take more time to flesh that out so I'm gonna get to work on this and hopefully I do well all right I got the report mostly done so now I'm going to spray my boots with leather cleaner because I just got these and you want to do that pretty quickly when you first get them so they don't get ruined so this is Bickmore number five. I got this at Boot Barn because they said to do that. So let's try this out. I'm scared. The sprayer's not too good on this thing, but that's all right, <laughs> I guess. I definitely think I put too much on here. So. But maybe they'll just stay beautiful and gorgeous forever. These are Cheyenne brand boots. I've never bought these before, but I've worn them a couple of times and I really like them so far. You can also put this stuff on your leather car seats, apparently, which I've never thought to do, but kind of makes sense. You want to keep those looking nice as well. looks good all right so another task is done 
all right guys so that's all for my sunday reset i um went over to my neighbor's house for a little bit to have some leftover pie from thanksgiving and i didn't really get everything done that i wanted to get done today but i got enough done that i feel comfortable with where it's at and tomorrow i will finish things up but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed the sunday reset give me a comment down below of a cleaning emoji and um if you want to see more of these i definitely can do them i don't mind doing it actually it gave me some accountability to be productive today but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and please like and subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next one bye